AstraZeneca is using data and AI to accelerate healthcare innovation in a number of ways. So if you think about the pathway to create new medicines, it starts with the understanding of disease and disease biology, which is a very complex field. Uh, data and AI can help us tease apart the interactions and the pathophysiology that drives various diseases. Then where we're actually developing drugs that are often different kinds of synthetic or biological molecules, AI can help us, for instance, through neural networks. So we're now using neural networks to help design molecules so that we can predict which molecules are going to be most uh, potent and most effective in those particular diseases. Some of the biggest opportunities in chemistry's digital future are around prediction and automation. So the use of AI, machine learning and related techniques on the one hand to be able to predict the properties of um, compounds chemical compounds before they're actually synthesized. So actually predicting whether they can be synthesized, predicting whether that particular molecule is going to be safe, is going to be potent, is going to have the right pharmacokinetic properties, which means it's going to get distributed around the body in the right way to tackle the disease. Being able to do these things ahead of any physical experimentation, in silico as we call it, rather than in a wet lab, can offer tremendous efficiencies, tremendous insights, and enable us to develop medicines much more um, accurately and, and quickly. And in the area of automation, there are certain processes, um, such as we've implemented in our iLab in Gothenburg, where we have a, a closed loop cycle of design, make, test, analyze of these molecules. And that's a, a classic paradigm that we've used for many years for developing medicines and developing drugs. It's just that now we've started to see how that can be automated rather than conducted as four separate experimental steps. And this is tremendously exciting because it shows us a way to rapidly speed up those experimental cycles.